Good morning, everybody. We hope that this live is reaching you and you're all well and safe on this very, very foggy day. Um, Nikki and I have just... Oh, dude wants butt scratch. Um, Nikki and I have just been up to the fields to get a couple of other ponies in. And um, we could barely see the ponies for we fog. We had to call them and uh, then they appeared. They appeared, in yeah. In the middle of the field. So today we've... Uh, got dude and this is the lovely margaret and margaret has had a little accident in the field so um she's on a little bit of restricted um grazing at the moment just while she recovers and um she doesn't oh, like sigh. being in by herself she gets a little bit anxious so uh Doody is keeping her company because what we want why she's recovering we want her nice and calm um and happy um, so dude is coming just to keep her company as you can see they are really good friends um, she's making a lovely recovery and um, she's absolutely all going in the right direction and then Doody, we thought we'd talk to you about our lovely dude so those of you who have watched our lives before um, will know that dude is um, a very special pony here at hugs and um, he's our care home pony and he spends quite a lot of his time going out into the community and visiting um, some of the care homes. Um, and he goes out and um, walks around and he's really good. He goes into all the um, like bedrooms and like all the areas in the care home and goes and visits people. Um, it's particularly nice to see him going in and really having a positive impact on those um, senior citizens and helping them um, throughout their day and their kind of lives because he has such a positive impact on um, how they're feeling and we're really hoping that as soon as it's safe to go back out there um, that dude can um, go back out and you know do those important visits we're hoping that he might be able to um, in a few months maybe go and visit visit some of our care homes and even if it just involves going into the car park and sort of standing outside so that the people can like look out their bedroom windows and see something a little bit different um, we know um, what a positive impact he can um, make on people so we're really keen to get him back out there so he's in today not only to keep margaret company but we thought we'd um, give him lots of pampering um, yeah. Look at that tail. tail wash. Um, just generally make him feel quite happy. And um, aren't we? That's our plan for today for you. And we came in this morning, me and Hazel were chatting, and we were like, oh my goodness, we've got so much to do. And we were getting a little bit stressed about thinking about what we had to do today. So what we did to help our day is make a kind of list. And we were putting everything down that we had to do. And then with our list, we kind of thought, right, what's the most important things? And then we kind of, you know, put those at the top of the list to try and make sure that we get those ones done. Because our minds were just full of what we had to do. Yeah, so at the moment, there's a big, big focus on mindfulness. But one of the big things is having your, mi your minds get full with your day-to-day -day things. Like, I've got to go and do the shopping. I've got to go and do this. Oh, I can't forget to do that. Whereas sometimes having a clearer mind will help your mindfulness. And writing a list can really help that. So you can kind of just see more visually what you've got to do. And, it can and sometimes it can feel a lot less daunting than it all bubbling about in your head. Um, for a while so that's what Nikki and I have done this morning we have popped a list down so we can tick that all off throughout the day and as you tick them off it also is a little bit empowering that you've like you're completing almost there. you're almost there you're <laughs> completing things off your list so it's a really good tip to help you throughout the day um, I'm just going to say some good mornings Nikki because we've got oh. lots of people saying hello so morning Liz and Matthew morning Sharon morning Junie morning Andrew morning Chloe Morning, Laura. We hope that you're all well. It's lovely to see you popping up in the comments. We love seeing your comments. Morning, Diane. Um, it's just lovely to see you. Oh, morning, Laura. Oh, there's two Lauras today. Um, we love seeing you. So if you just give us a wave or pop a little comment, it all pop. hopefully, if technology works right, it all pops up in our comments so we can say hello to you all and check in, which is lovely. So Nikki and I are going to go now and... Look at our list of jobs today and um, crack on and we will leave you. I'm going to just swap Ooh. with Nikki with happy munching ponies. Hey, Margaret. Can you say bye-bye to her? And we will see you. 
this afternoon. See you then.